Hi, my name is Hope Wood, and I'll be presenting your free webinar today. Communication is most likely at the forefront of your mind when it comes to autism, right? I have a short story for you. There was a small child who was nonverbal, trapped inside her tiny frame, with no means of communication at all. She had frequent tantrums that often left the room in shambles. On one particular day, the family was seated at the dining table while the child made her way around the room, snatching food from everyone's plate. Just imagine. When the least amount of objection was shown, she'd throw herself to the floor in violent protest, banging her feet on the wooden floor, thrashing about, and whatever happened to be in her hand, a utensil or a dish, would be hurled across the room. Absolute chaos, right? There was another little girl in the story. She sat on her living room floor at her house, observing all this on the TV as tears of compassion streamed down her face. You see, the first child was young Helen Keller, blind, deaf, very smart, and no ability to give or receive verbal communication. A movie, The Miracle Worker, had been made about her life. The second child was me. I had no clue that that moment in time would later inspire me to become a speech language pathologist, AAC specialist, and neuro coach to provide communication for nonverbal children with autism. Why did I share this story with you? Because I believe it's due to my compassion and drive to help others. And I know the training I have for you is very valuable. In this training, I will change your life. I promise to help you understand the autistic brain and how to make adjustments for communication. Even if you have zero experience or technical skills, I will guide you to better communication with your child. Please don't take my word for it though. I'd rather you hear from a few other moms. Amy Turner in California said, my son Matthew and I first met Hope when we transferred from public school to homeschool. Hope worked very hard to tailor Matthew's first augmentative and alternative communication, AAC, device. Matthew worked like a champ for her through testing to see how much data he could look at without becoming overwhelmed and what types of words and phrases would be most important to him. Watching Matthew blossom from a nonverbal child to a verbal one was amazing. Yes, you read correctly. Matthew went from nonverbal to verbal. All four grandparents and others were blown away at how talkative he became after being nonverbal the first eight years of his life. And then Linda Palmer in Oklahoma said, Hope is currently providing services to assist me in training my adult son, age 40, with an AAC device. He has autism and has been nonverbal since birth. She has made wonderful recommendations that are specific to his needs that are working well for him. We are in the beginning stages and he's making great progress. I am confident that with her knowledge and our combined commitment, we will see his communication skills improve to much higher levels. I highly recommend working with Hope to achieve the goals that you have for your loved one. She is a professional with a true heart of compassion and committed to drastically impacting lives with communication. And Taj Harding in, in California said, Hope has been such a blessing to our family in a very short period of time. She's very insightful on all that relates to speech delay. My two-year-old has even started taking a powder supplement that she provided to improve gut and brain function. And his therapist noticed improvements with his attention span the same day, right after his very first smoothie with the powder. Thank you, Hope, for being so attentive and such a pleasure to work with. And then Carrie Medill in Washington said, I've known Hope since 2016, have witnessed firsthand and been amazed at her ability to impact children who cannot communicate. Many families at a loss with nowhere else to turn have been blessed by her compassion and knowledge. She has a wonderful way of explaining things. I'm a firm believer in Hope, her kindness and her AAC technology. 
And lastly, Candace Bennett in California said, Hope is amazing at what she does. She's very knowledgeable and compassionate when it comes to helping these children with autism. Since we've met her, she has given us so much information and resources. We are blessed to have her in our corner, helping us along this journey. So the fun approach to autistic communication for Guide for Moms. I'm happy to uh, present to you, and I put this together myself. In this free training, you'll discover the truth about kids with autism and talking. Will these kids learn to talk? Autism and parenting, are these two related? Kids with autism and friends, will your child be able to make friends? There are quite a few myths regarding autism. And during our journey today, as you experience my fun system, I'll confirm they're not true. For now, I'd like to address a few of them right here. Myth number one, children with autism have the same skills and difficulties. The truth, we all know even identical twins do not have the same abilities and challenges. There are a few characteristics commonly found in these precious kids with autism, but they are just as unique as neurotypical children. Myth number two, individuals with autism cannot form relationships. Truth, although many people with autism have difficulty with social interaction, they can experience emotions and may express feelings in less obvious manners. Myth number three, children with autism will not learn to talk. The truth, after working with hundreds of children with autism over the years, not a single one remained nonverbal. Myth number four, if a child with autism is given an AAC device for communication, they will stop talking verbally. Truth, the AAC device visually organizes language and makes it easier for verbal language to develop. By the way, you may recall the super smart scientist Stephen Hawking, who was confined to a wheelchair. That device, which did all his talking for him, was an AAC device. As an AAC specialist, I help moms and their children with these as well. It's very exciting. I'm so happy to share with you my signature method, the fun approach to autistic communication. Step number one is to feed the brain. First, I'll teach you exactly what nutrition the brain needs and which other part of the body directly affects the brain. I'd like to share a story with you. One mom called me with tons of excitement in her voice. She explained that her son's aggressive behavior had decreased by about 50%. And this was after just two days of following our protocol on what to feed the brain. 50% improvement in two days. Wow. There's a close relationship between the brain and the intestines. These days, we hear a lot about gut health. In fact, doctors are realizing many diseases stem from issues that begin in the gut. Feed the gut, feed the brain. Speaking of feeding the gut, one of the key elements that we should look at are for nucleotides. Scientifically researched gut and immune enhancement has a tremendous effect on the brain function and development. Nucleotides can support the number of probiotic bacteria in the gut, which is key for amplifying overall health of the body and the brain. The brain uses 20% of the body's energy. Healthy fats like avocados and coconut are crucial for the brain health. Did you know this? Just like a cut or scrape on the knee, likewise, the brain can heal itself as long as it gets lots of healthy fats on a daily basis. Time and time again, I've watched a child's verbal abilities, focus, and anxiety behaviors drastically change when placed on a high-fat and nutrient-dense diet. Isn't it amazing how the right food and nutrients can affect your child's ability to communicate? Now, let's move on to the second step. Step two, understand the brain. Now, I'll help you understand the autistic brain in simple terms. Until more recently, the structures of the brain were more a mystery, but 
medical research and the use of advanced equipment such as fMRIs and MRIs now provide more accurate information about what's going on inside the brain of a person with autism. As you can imagine, many factors are involved with the autistic brain. This is one of the easiest to explain and understand. In the frontal lobe, there's an excessive amount of neural tissue tightly packed in there. This crowding has a detrimental effect on the brain's ability to function, especially regarding electrical firing of the synapses. The altered speed and accuracy are two important factors which play a role in many of the learning deficits some children experience. Let's do this exercise together, which may help you understand the autistic brain. When you focus on just the left end of the image below, it clearly appears there are three prongs. But when you focus only on the right end, your brain tells you there are only two. This is one example of thousands, but the child with autism cannot make such perceptual distinctions verbally, visually, auditorily, tactically, kinesthetically, spatially, proprioceptively, etc. In other words, there's a massive amount of perceptual confusion in the autistic brain throughout the entire day. Last example, even though the two boys are right next to each other, Either of these two quiet noises across the room could prevent the boy with autism from hearing his brother's voice. When we gain a better understanding of how the autistic brain operates, it's easier to figure out specific ways to assist the child in a learning process. Does additional information about how the autistic brain works make it not so much a mystery? Now, let's proceed to the final step. Step three nurture and train the brain. Without getting too technical, I will teach you the basics of augmentative and alternative communication AAC devices. It's important to know the basics of AAC devices because they are an integral part when it comes to nurturing and training the brain. A neurotypical infant has already developed the ability to recognize his mommy's voice, which is one of the prerequisites for developing speech and language. This is one among hundreds of perceptual skills which are not in place for the child with autism. As stated before, sensory input for children with autism is a bunch of scrambled perceptions, to put it mildly. The three primary modalities with which humans take in information are through sight, hearing, and touch. Visual learners prefer images, videos, stories with pictures, etc. And auditory learners like listening and receiving information aloud. Kinesthetic learners tend to do best when engaged by physically doing it. All three are involved with a child is using an AC device, which is great. Most people think an AAC device is only means for expressive language. Now, for adults with brain injury, that is sometimes the case. But for children, especially those with autism, the AAC device provides both receptive and expressive language. In fact, after working with hundreds of students with autism, I firmly believe the AAC device organizes language so the autistic brain can retain it. Just like any neurotypical child, a child with autism is constantly gathering information as they switch from visual to auditory and touch. The device uses all three modalities. It makes sense how an AAC device can help your child, right? Now, before I proceed on sharing with you how you can apply the fun approach. Let me first deliver on my promise and quickly answer these questions. Kids with autism and talking, will they learn how to talk? Autism and parenting, how are these two related? And kids with autism and friends, will your child be able to make friends? Kids with autism and talking, will they learn how to talk? Yes, in all my years working with these precious kids, when given the necessary brain food, an AAC device, and proper therapy sessions, I've not seen a single one remain nonverbal. Autism and parenting, how are these two related? 
children who make the most progress on this protocol are the ones who have parents who are dedicated to the process, truly in awe at times. I've stated that experience working with these parents has literally redefined the word parenthood in my mind. So absolutely. Kids with autism and friends, will your child be able to make friends? Yes, just like the rest of us. They may go about it differently than the next person. It may require a bit more coaching and or facilitating, but I've observed those friendships. So in order to apply and use the fun approach, you might have a few questions in your mind, like where can I find the good food with the right nutrients in order to feed the brain of my autistic child? And now that I understand the brain of a child with autism a bit better, what should I do to develop communication for my child? Or how can I nurture and train the brain of my child? And what resources do I need? Or ultimately, you may be asking, how can I help my child communicate verbally? The answer, all of these questions, I prepare a special offer for you moms who watched this training to this point. I've tailored this offer to really help you with exactly what you need. And so, is it okay if I quickly share the offer with you? Send me a quick message and we can chat. 